I would like to look at stereoisomers and we're going to look at one particular subset called geometric isomers. These are the ones you know as cis and trans. Okay, so let's say um, we have two ligands. Usually we would have four of one of the ligands and two of the other in order for it to be cis and trans. So let's just say that our uh, metal ion is iron 2 and then we're going to have let's say a chloride and a chloride and then the other ligand would be um, let's say ammonia. Remember I like to see the um, atom that's attached written next to the metal there as best we can. Okay, so this would be cis or trans. Okay, if you said trans, you would be correct. Let's draw the cis version. The cis version then could be, uh, as long as they're the chlorides then, we can put it on the bottom and we could put it on any of these. Any of them would work because they would be next to, all right? The only one that would be across is if we put it on top. So if you were thinking three-dimensionally, you would see that we could just as easily put the chloride here. That's not a cross. That is the you know, uh, next to. And then we would put the NH3s in these places. All right, now these two isomers have a relation to each other. They are called di -mers diastereomers. So if I, if I gave you this particular species and said draw the diastereomer of it, you would draw this one. So if, if I gave you the cis version and said draw the, the diastereomer, you would draw the trans version or vice versa. Those are stereoisomers subset geometric isomers.